Hello everyone, you all are welcome back to our YouTube channel School and Dial Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please see the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are gonna talk about oligosaccharides and polysaccharides in carbohydrate classification. Oligosaccharides are the carbohydrates which contain 3 to 10 monosaccharide residues. There are different types of oligosaccharides in foods. As examples, common oligosaccharides include raffinose, starchios, and verbicose. These oligosaccharides can be found in relatively abundant levels in legumes, whole grains, some cruciferous vegetables, and some fruits. Humans lack the ability to properly digest these carbohydrates because we lack the digestive enzyme alpha-galactosidase. Therefore, oligosaccharides are not hydrolyzed and are instead passed undigested into the lower gut. When we consider about the importance of oligosaccharides in the food industry, we can use them as prebiotics, sweeteners, fat substitutes and soluble fiber. The next most important thing in carbohydrate classification is polysaccharides. They are polymeric carbohydrate molecules composed of long chains of monosaccharide units bound together by glycosidic bonds. We can obtain monosaccharides or oligosaccharides by hydrolyzing polysaccharides. The common formula of polysaccharide is CXH2OY. Mainly, polysaccharides can be divided into two groups. The first one is homopolysaccharides. They contain only a single type of monomeric unit. The examples for homopolysaccharides are starch, glycogen, cellulose, and chitin. The next group is heteropolysaccharides. They contain two or more different types of monomeric units. Peptidoglycan and pectin are some examples for heteropolysaccharides. Polysaccharides are widely used in different industries. For example, cell encapsulation, wound healing, drug delivery, gene delivery, contact lenses, food additives, protein binding, etc. When we look at the importance of polysaccharides in the food industry, they can commonly be used as emulsifiers, stabilizers, thickeners, water holding agents, and gelling agents. So, these are the very basic things that you should know about the carbohydrate classification in food and chemistry. So, if you need any clarification, please leave a comment. You can find more details through books and research papers. If you found this video useful, please give it thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you in next time with our next lesson and thanks for watching.